up the door
of mine In this joy and perfect peace Earthly pain finally will cease Celebrate Jesus is alive
right, everyone, it's time for our connect question. Turn to your neighbor and answer this question. Where is the best place you have ever been? provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Today in the Big God Story, we're focusing on a guy called Philip. Many of you might not know much about Philip, but Philip was actually in our story last week. You just didn't know his name. You see, when Jesus ascended into heaven, he left the disciples who became the apostles, these, these starting people for the church. And last week we talked about how the apostles had to make the dis difficult decision to focus on teaching instead of focusing on caring for the people. And so the apostles appointed seven people, seven people who would look after the widows, who would make sure they had food because the disciples, the apostles, and all the people knew that God cared for everyone, no matter how rich or how poor you might be. And so one of those seven men, that was Philip. And in our big God story, Philip goes on to do some pretty incredible things. You see, Philip wanted to serve the widows because Philip knew God loves everyone. And so that meant that because he loved everybody, Philip was going to show his love to everybody. Philip didn't just stop there, though, with the widows. The Bible tells us that Philip even didn't just stay in Jerusalem because he knew that God had called them. Jesus had said, go out into all of the world, not just in Jerusalem, but Judea and Samaria and to the rest of the world. And so Philip, Philip committed his life to making sure that everyone knew that God loves everyone. Philip wanted to make sure that he showed the love of God to everybody. So Philip didn't just stay in Jerusalem, he went into Judea and he would share the good news of Jesus. And then he went and we find him in Samaria. Samaria is a special place because Samaria is a place where a lot of Jews would refuse to go. You see the Jewish people, they thought they were better than the Samaritans. Often Jewish people would kind of stick their nose up at the Samaritans. Often the Jewish people would walk all around Samaria if they had to pass through because they didn't want to even talk or interact with Samaritans. See God's word through Jesus we realize that God loves everyone. See Jesus set the example for his people when he showed love to the Samaritan woman at the well. And so Philip Philip knew that God loved everyone. And so he went to Samaria and he shared the good news of Jesus with everybody that he could. The Bible tells us that God used Philip to do some incredible miracles because Philip knew God loves everyone. And Philip wanted to show the love of God to everyone. But do you think that God was done with using Philip in Samaria? No, God had bigger plans. God had greater ways he wanted to use Philip. God wanted to use Philip to show that everybody should experience the love of God, that God loves everyone. And so one day the Holy Spirit led Philip down this road. And when he went down that road, he found an Ethiopian man in a chariot. Kind of confused, Philip gets closer to the chariot and he hears the man inside reading the Old Testament. That's the first half of the Bible. The man inside was reading and Philip reached out to him and said, do you understand the things that you're reading? The man said, how can I understand unless somebody teaches me? Philip gets in 
the chariot with this official from Ethiopia, this important and influential man, and they head down the road in this chariot while Philip explains the scriptures. He explains all about who Jesus was and why Jesus came and the difference that Jesus makes. See, Philip knew God loves everyone. Philip knew that God wanted all people from all places to hear the good news of Jesus. And you know what? It made a difference. The Ethiopian man, he decided he wanted to follow Jesus. He committed his life to Jesus. In fact, when he heard about water baptism and making the decision to follow Jesus publicly, the Ethiopian man said, there's water. There's water. Why would we not get baptized now? And so they stop the chariot, they get out, they head into the water, and Philip baptizes the Ethiopian man. He begins to follow Jesus. When, when, when Philip brings the Ethiopian man out of the water, Philip, by the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, is miraculously transported away. The Ethiopian man heads back in his chariot, and he heads to go and tell the people the good news of Jesus in Ethiopia. How cool is that, that overnight, all of a sudden, the message of the gospel spread to the rest of the world. Through one act, through one conversation. See, Philip knew God loves everyone. Philip knew our job is to share the love of God with everyone. So what about you and me? Do you know that God loves everyone? Do you do your best to show the love of God to everybody? I know for me, I was born in a place called Manchester, England. You can see it on this map. But God called me to go to a different place, just like Philip, to share the good news of Jesus. All of these little pinpoints on this map show the places that I've gone, many of them to go and share the good news of Jesus. You know, Jesus wants us to know that even though someone might act different from us, they might believe different from us, they might look different from us, they might be from a different country. You know what? God loves everyone. God wants us to be people who love everyone too. He wants us to be people who share the good news of Jesus with everybody, no matter who they are, no matter how different they are from us. So in your life, how can you show God's love to everybody? How can you embody God loves everyone? Take a moment and think about that. And let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love for us. God, we are all sinners. We've all messed up, but we thank you that you love everyone. God, help us to have your love and to love the world in the same way that you love it. In your name we pray. Amen. May you experience God's love personally. May the power and presence of the Holy Spirit help you live like Jesus in this world, showing God's love to everyone.